Con Huynh is the pastor of the Vietnamese Baptist Church in Houston. He came to America to escape a communist government that tried to control who and how he worshipped. He's one of the pastors who was subpoenaed. Eric Stanley is the lead alliance of defending freedom attorney in the case, and both are joining me now. And Pastor Huynh, I want to start with you because you escaped the tyranny of communism in Vietnam. One of the original boat people who got out of that country uh, when you were uh, literally escaping for your life. When you came to America, did you ever think that the government of the United States, acting through one of its mayors, would ask you to cough up your sermons so that they could approve them? Never in my uh, wildest dream that um, this happened to, to us here in America. You must be a little disconcerted that uh, this has been required of you or, or requested of you. Do you plan to give your sermons to, uh, to the mayor of Houston? Yes, uh, she can, can have my uh, sermon, but not uh, by subpoena. <laughs> okay, I'm, our sermon is um, streamlined and millions of people watching in Vietnam and other parts of the world. It's, it's, um, it's, it's made public. But to demand that uh, I turn in my sermon and uh, communication correspondent is violate uh, uh, what this nation is for, is freedom of speech and freedom of religion. When you got your subpoena, what was your first reaction to it? I'm just curious how it affected you when you first saw it. Well, it's, um, it shocked me at first, but I know that this is just a, a tactic to silence the voice of the, vo the, the voice of the because, um, uh, you know, I feel like uh, they want to send us a message that you speak up and you pay. Eric, let me bring you into the conversation. You're the lead attorney that now defending these five pastors. Alliance Defending Freedom, your organization deals with issues like this. But I'll be honest with you, Eric, I've never seen anything quite this blatant. Is, is this a shock even for, for what you do? Uh, this is an unprecedented attack on the religious, religious liberty of pastors. In fact, when I got the subpoena, I literally was shocked to see the amount and breadth of what the city of Houston was asking of these pastors. Seventeen different categories of communications, including their speeches and sermons, and also including private communications with congregation members, uh, which could be covered by the clergy confidentiality statutes. So this is what the city of Houston has done. It, I was literally floored when I saw these subpoenas. You know, the mayor tried to say, well, we really didn't mean sermons, and that was uh, an inadvertent attempt by some pro bono attorneys. But, but Eric, that doesn't hold water because what she tweeted out specifically said sermons. Now, later, I think it was yesterday or sometime this week, she has amended and said, well, not their sermons, but their speeches. And I guess I'm trying to figure out what's the difference. Maybe you can help. Yeah, there really is no difference here. The only thing that the city of Houston did is to remove the word sermons from the subpoena. But it, it literally still contains 17 different categories of communications, including any and all communications on this petition, any and all communications about the mayor, about homosexuality, about gender identity, uh, and it still includes the private confidential communications between pastors and their church members. The city of Houston just doesn't get it, it appears. It appears they've never read the First Amendment, as you said, and they don't seem to understand that when you go after pastors like this, you're running roughshod over the First Amendment. I cannot imagine that there's any court in the land, lower or appellate or the Supreme Court, that would uh, side with the city of Houston and what they've requested, all, whether it's in the guise of, of the discovery phase or not. Tell us what you expect is going to happen over the next few weeks and months in this case. Well, I think you're exactly right. I mean, the important point to note is that Pastor Wynn and the other four pastors who were subpoenaed, all that they did was they opposed this ordinance that the city had passed, and they encouraged people to sign this petition. Uh, essentially, they were exercising their constitutional rights to free speech. Now, Alliance Defending Freedom, we've represented, we're representing all five of the pastors, and we filed a motion to quash these subpoenas. And we expect to win that motion uh, because this is so far out of bounds. Again, it's unprecedented. You know, I, it occurs to me, Eric and Pastor Wynn, that it may be that this one mayor of Houston, Texas, has done something that hundreds of thousands of pastors have been unable to do, and that's wake up their church members and finally help them realize that their faith and their freedom is under assault in this country. 
I hope it causes people to get up out of their slumber and understand that if we don't speak up, stand up, and do something to protect our freedoms, we will lose it. And that's why I'm hoping that everybody will send a Bible to the mayor and all the pastors of America will send their sermons, not because they've been subpoenaed, but because if she wants sermons, by gosh, we ought to give her a pile to wade through and see if she enjoys them. <laughs> Pastor Juan and uh, Eric, thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.